Hey guys, another HubSpot tutorial and today we'll cover about the codes. I'm going to teach you how you can edit your code template and how you can also create a child theme version of your code. that is super important okay but before anything else before you can jump in and do modification with your code template you need to navigate on the gear icon located at the top right corner of your hubspot portal and then scroll down on the sidebar area and look for the data management section and look for the objects and scroll down and look for the codes so on the code section you should be able to see this part in here called customize code templates so in that tab you can see all of the codes that is created regardless if it's a published or a draft one and let's say okay this one okay um, okay, you want to edit this one, you want to change along the positioning and the arrangement of the module. And actually, the difference between the code and other um, template in HubSpot, like a landing page or a website template, is code doesn't have a drag and drop option. So if you want to arrange the modules, then you need to change the, the hard code of that okay and okay so let's click the edit one in here and let's say this um testimonial over here this testimonial header and testimonial i wanted to put that here at the bottom part okay so what you can do is go into the settings section okay um it's still not working okay so anyway it's just loading but i don't want that to um to give you more insights how the invoice looks like so anyway so i'm going to click the settings in here and scroll down so you have two options on your settings you have an options to edit the theme settings now the theme settings is just more into the styles of your code if you want to change the size of your um headings um globally um in this hierarchy or the body and the links you can do that i'm going to change this one to to red one okay you can do that on the text as well but if you want to change the placement or the arrangement of the module as i explained it to you earlier you need to edit the cms template used in this page so i'm going to click that one okay and as you can see this is a parent theme and it cannot be edited we don't own this theme so what you can do is create a child theme and i'm going to right click that instead of using this one i don't like to use that but i prefer to just use preview in finder and i'm gonna um clone to child theme okay oh it's over again let me just Refreshed. Reveal finder. Why oh, it's not working? But anyway, okay, let's do this one. For a child theme. And we will. I'm going to move that over to the child theme section. But before doing that, I'm probably going to create another um, folder there specifically for the code let's do that okay um go back with her in the root directory and find the child theme um that and then i'm gonna call this one code child theme maybe i'm gonna replace this one as well i'm i will move it over but yeah, let's discuss this later because we're focused on the code. So we'll seat all the codes child theme in this folder. So let's go back, um, create child theme. And this is a flow child theme. And we'll put it here, here, here. Okay. Advanced. I can, I prefer to put something like that. So I have an identifier that this is coming from a parent um, flow themes. Okay, create the child theme. And then, okay, 
We already have the child theme there. Um, click the edit, and this is the Okay, it doesn't have a child theme yet for this HTML. So what I'm going to do is right click and clone to child theme and this one. Okay, so when I create, I I'm, I'm just want to um, re-emphasize this again. When I create a child theme, it just copied or it's just generate a basic um folder and since the proposal that html is not really a mandatory for a code template it doesn't automatically generate or clone this template so you need to, to copy or click this clone to child theme okay and we'll put it on the folder that we created okay and then um okay go back to the Let's go back to the child theme, this one, and go to the proposal, okay? And let's look for the module called testimonial. So this is the testimonial module. I'm going to move it over um, at the bottom part. And by the way, um, when you are editing this section, I would recommend um, to edit it with someone who understands at least an HTML and have familiarity of the Hubble and HubSpot. And th these are just a Hubble, really. This one, if you can see some curly braces there, those are Hubble. So I'm going to remove that and put it over um, here. I'm going to put it over here copy and then publish okay once you're done you can go back let's exit this one i will clone this hope we can change the template mm. yeah the cloning doesn't work so what we can do instead remove that is we'll create a customized a code from scratch. I hope there's an option to just clone it, but anyway, customize code, and then we will use the template that we just created. This one, choose and yeah, so voila, we are good to go this code is already here at the bottom part the sad thing only is i need to re-input again the context from the parent theme because it doesn't have an option when i copy this one it doesn't have an option for me to choose another template so that's the bummer but yeah that's how you can just edit a code in hubspot and if you have any question or concern please feel free to comment down below or leave me a message, DM me or email me at hi at bookwormhead.com. I'll be happy to answer it during my spare time or poke me anytime. Have a great day.